Hey everyone, and welcome to a special review for the Kata for a concert I recently saw, which of course were White Snake uh, with Europe as the supporting act, and I definitely did enjoy myself. Um, I saw them at Viking Ship or the Viking Ship in Hamar, which is like an hour, about an hour, hour and a half away from Oslo. So yeah, I definitely had a chance to really enjoy myself and I'm really sorry that I haven't been able to put up a review for it sooner because I've been kind of busy with other other things. But yeah, I def definitely figured I'd also give you guys a quick my quick thoughts on it as well as do a little bit of an unboxing because yeah, I definitely <laughs> Still had to do a VIP thing, so we're gonna, gonna do go through this. Uh, I do have a little bit of a thing I had to take off and put it to the side here for a sec. So obviously, oh by the way, I had the VIP tag, which if you get the VIP, you basically get a quicker access and quicker access into into the venue because. The line, the line when you show up is pretty long and there's a little bit of an express line if you manage to find it. So in the in this little goodie bag that I got right here, let's see if I can find everything here. So obviously you have, get a nice bookmark, obviously, which is really, really nice and neat for, every, for, every, for our, our readers out there. Uh, you got this little sticker here, the White Snake logo, I guess. Yeah, pretty cool. I really like this one. Um, and obviously, you guys got a couple of pins, which you got one pin that says White Snake, um, and of course you get you get this one, which is more of the traditional logo or the traditional emblem for for the band. So that is pretty much it. Oh, and I think that's about it. I guess, or maybe not. Uh, obviously, we also you do get this signed little poster here for every VIP member with obviously all the guys and with all the guys and one gal in in the band. So obviously, we got Red Beat. We got Doug. Doug. Uh, I think it's Doug. Is it Doug Aldridge? I think it is. And then of course Tommy Aldridge and of course Mr. Coverdale and Tanya at the at the, on the side, the one one little Miss Medusa over there. And of course, yeah, like I mentioned, Tommy Aldridge, which is still kicking ass behind behind the drums. So what did I think initially of it? Uh, I think so. Let me just start off by talking about the Europe as a opening act. I know that in some places, at least on the UK tour, they've had Foreigner opening up for them. So, which I, which, which based on the few clips I've seen, they did they do it pretty pretty solidly. Uh, but as far as Europe is concerned, yeah, they did pretty good too. Obviously, they did. Um, Rock the Night, Superstitious, they did Carrie, they did obviously Final Countdown, I managed to record that. So I really enjoy, enjoyed that aspect of it. Um, and, of course, and of course then the White Snake came out and did a pretty predictable set list. They did all the hits which I kind of suspected that they would. Uh, obviously opening up with Bad Boys just Kick yeah, just as a great uh, kick in the teeth for me because I really like uh, love that song. Um, they did obviously give me all your love. Is this love? Love ain't no stranger. Uh, ain't no love in the heart of the city. Uh, still of the night. Here I go again. They did those songs, but the big surprise for me, as a purple fan, is of course that they finished the whole set up with burn, which I think was just put me just over the over them over the top for me um and the funny thing is that there was somebody else in the audience and we just ended up just kind of it just staying embracing each other and just singing along to it which was a lot of fun 
and yeah so yeah um the guy the guys obviously did an amazing job and of course they did crying in the rain with a with an unaccompanied drum solo by mr tommy aldridge which still to be in his 70s is an absolute animal behind the kit so i really enjoyed this i had a lot had a ton of fun watching this and of course if i do have obviously a complaint about this yeah uh Mr. Coverdale doesn't really can sing like he used to, but I, I can, but he by far makes up for it in his showmanship. And I think if you get a chance to go and see White Snake live, this would be it because I'm pretty sure his voice is about to give in. And I think this, I have a feeling that the keyboard player basically did most of the vocal lifting, and Mr. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Coverdale just had to just put on a, did the best he could to put on a good show despite being 71, 72, something like that. So I, by all means, I think everybody should, if you are a fan of hard rock, if you are a fan of metal, if you really enjoy the Whitesnake 87 album, I would highly recommend everybody to go and check it, check out because I think this is going to be if this is going to be their, their final tour, I think it's a, it's a good way to call it a day. So by all means, I give them a 4 out of 5 for the showmanship, for the uh, be wonderful musical performances. I think the addition of, uh, I like to call her Medusa, but it's Tanya, I think, if I remember correctly, did, a, did an amazing job on the bass. So, uh, and obviously Joel Hoekstra and Red Beach and they, they, I mean, you know these guys, they have been in White Snake for an incredible amount of time and they, they know their stuff, they're absolutely super tight, super clean in their playing, so it's absolutely crisp, so yeah, I, I had a lot of fun and make sure to stay put because I'm going to be seeing Alice Cooper this coming week, so keep a lookout for that.